Our world has an abundance of extraordinary things happening at all times. The universe in which we live is remarkable in many ways. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting astronomical discoveries, from the importance of looking after space, to the strange signals we are picking up, to the unusual and quirky planets nearby. Scientists recorded 1,652 FRB bursts from deep space over 47 days. Often findings can leave scientists relatively puzzled. One particular astrophysical occurrence has left plenty of questions and gave us little information about exactly how they work. That is, fast radio bursts. However, the recent data collection from a series of fast radio bursts has truly left researchers with more questions than answers as the behaviour coming from a potential source seems to be even more strange than usual. An FRB, or fast radio burst, is an elusive, confusing process as it is. We know very little about how these are caused, other than that it is by some sort of mysterious and not yet understood astrophysical phenomenon that produces these strange radio pulses. The observations we have made so far range from being just a fraction of a millisecond to being multiple milliseconds, a fairly large span. This certainly has not helped us understand what these strange signals genuinely are or where they are really coming from. A dataset from 2019 has more recently been analysed and allowed scientists to trace back over 1600 fast radio bursts to a source that has been dubbed FRB 121102. What is even more strange? This staggering number of fast radio bursts happened over a span of just 47 days. The journal Nature has seen the more recent analysis of this peculiar dataset, where scientists have been baffled trying to determine the origin of these FRBs. Some of the working theories hypothesize that black holes, supernovae, neutron stars, exotic particles or magnetars could be behind the strange astrophysical event. These observations were taken by the 500-metre Aperture Spherical Telescope based in China. The source in question, FRB 121102, was observed through the aforementioned telescope, abbreviated to FAST, for a total of 60 hours over the course of a month. What makes this observation even more noteworthy is that before the shocking 1,652 FRBs, the last previously recorded number was just 347 bursts since the discovery of FRB 121102 way back in 2012. This is not the only record-breaking statistic that FRB 121102 has to its name. At the highest point in its production, this FRB source was sending fast radio bursts at a rate of 122 bursts in an hour. New Atlas cited one of the authors of the study as saying this study is the first time that one particular FRB source has been studied in such depth, and whilst we have plenty of questions still to come, significant answers have come from this study, giving us some more clues, but also complicating the puzzle just a little bit more. There is still no determined, accurate, pinpointed source that is producing FRBs. Astronomers have not quite gotten that far yet though some of the theories that are already in circulation have not been ruled out. The most likely theory is considered to be magnetars, though this does not mean anything definitive. Fast radio bursts from FRB 121102 are not the only odd signals reaching us way over here on Earth. Over the last few years, a few unknown signals have been picked up from out there in space. Astronomers at the University of Queensland recently traced radio signals reaching us here as being sent from 19 red dwarf stars way outside of our solar system, four of which had planets orbiting them. Luckily for us, advancing technology like FAST and the much more powerful LOFAR, Low Frequency Array Telescope based in the Netherlands, make these studies possible, more convenient and more accurate. This strange space process is still not very well understood, though the more research and data we can collect, the closer we come to figuring out this seemingly impossible puzzle. At some point in the future, FRBs may seem like something obvious that we always should have known, though for now, the research conducted and the technology doing so is marching us towards breakthroughs with each new FRB we detect. Clear Space One Space Mission 
We all know about the dangers of pollution, of climate change, and the things we need to be doing to keep our planet a nice place to live. From the importance of recycling to remembering not to litter, these simple aspects of keeping our streets clean and tidy are drilled into us from our first years at school. So if six-year-olds can understand to pick up their rubbish, why cannot some of the world's most intelligent people comprehend that we cannot litter in space either? The last decade has seen a number of incredible advancements in the field of astronomy, making impressive strides in space exploration. Countless missions and countless research projects, breaking records and finding data that can help us answer some of our biggest questions. However, we have also got a bit of a darker side to space exploration we rarely discuss. The litter and the pollution. In the last decade, we have achieved more than we could have hoped in understanding the universe, but we also multiplied the number of satellites we sent up into space annually by 10, firing 600 satellites up per year. These concerns about space debris have resurfaced after a Chinese rocket fell to Earth, calling space agencies to act. One in particular, the European Space Agency, seems to be chiming in with a solution. The ESA has recently revealed their plans to host a space debris removal mission due in 2025 through the use of ClearSpace, a Swiss initiative. The idea is that a four-armed robot will collect space junk. The goal of the ClearSpace 1 mission is to remove a Vega secondary payload adapter from orbit. This was left up in space following the ESA Vega launch in 2013. It clocks in at 220 pounds and is about 500 miles above the Earth. The ESA Director General described the action of space debris as the objects are adrift, often tumbling randomly. Once the Clear Space One robot is able to get hold of Vespa and bring it into the Earth's atmosphere, the idea is that both machines will burn. This would make the Clear Space One mission the first ever instance of a generated piece of space junk being taken out of its orbit. Without projects and research like Clear Space One, the future of space exploration would become vastly limited. There are already too many inactive satellites and stages of launch vehicles that are in low Earth orbit, and with these huge pieces moving around in such an unpredictable manner, at such high speeds of tens of thousands of miles per hour, it is all too easy for a collision to occur, potentially damaging an active satellite and ruining ongoing research. It is important when we talk about keeping green that we extend this to more than just our planet. Other aspects of the world and the universe need maintaining and looking after. It is only a matter of time before the cleanup mission begins and Clear Space One is just the start. Kelt 11b A few of our planets have acquired fun nicknames over time. Mars is the red planet due to its colour, and Mercury is the swift planet thanks to its quick orbiting of the Sun though it seems that exoplanets are also beginning to don nicknames, with Kelt 11b earning the title of Puffiest Planet. Kelt 11b is an exoplanet, namely a celestial object that has a confirmed planetary status but is simply not within our solar system. We have been detecting exoplanets since 1992, though there has been a shift to focus more on exoplanets than other areas of interplanetary research within recent years. Lately, some astronomers have theorized that if exoplanets have similar conditions to Earth, for example being in its star's habitable zone and having liquid water on the surface, then it is possible that they could host extraterrestrial life. Of course, this is not true of all exoplanets. In 2016, astronomers found an exoplanet orbiting the subgiant star Kelt 11. This planet earned the catchy name of Kelt 11b and is an inflated planet, hence its puffiest title. This inflated nature is due to it orbiting so closely to its star. In terms of size, Kelt 11b is rather impressive, with a radius of 1.37 times that of Jupiter. While these dimensions are rather large, the mass of this exoplanet is surprisingly low, as it clocks in at just 90% of Jupiter's mass. Dr. Pepper, an astronomer at Lehigh University, likened the density of this planet to styrofoam. It is relatively rare that we are able to gather this much information on an exoplanet, though the measurements were relatively accessible thanks to the brightness of the star the puffiest planet orbits. It was the kilodegree Extremely Little Telescope, or KELT, that was used to detect this exoplanet. 
There are tons of interesting planets just beyond our horizons that we hardly notice. While we spend so long looking for planets that are like Earth, it is entirely possible we have missed so many gems like Kelt 11b, just hidden away behind a star a little less bright than this one. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.